Well, he's done his bit. He now needs some help from Chris Melling if he continues the comeback. So the cogs start to turn. Yeah, it's not opened up as a big split at all. You make a case for reds here. You don't need to do too much because all the reds go without any movement, without any cannons. And then you've got the double on the eight ball, but he also could play a cannon on the eight ball and try and break it out. 15 seconds of shot now as well for this section of the match. which will help Gary Clark, who needs to rattle off quick frames. It hinders a tricky frame like this. You have not got long to figure it out. Fortunately for Chris Melling, he's probably got the quickest brain in the game. I think you can argue until the cows come home as to who the player is with the, with the best or the most perfect or the more pristine patterns. But I don't think there's anyone who sees them quicker. No, great shot as well there. Wow. Well, if you can't see the one to the bottom left-hand corner, it's just a little awkward now. Only a little. Yeah, that is perfect. He's got just enough angle to screw back, I think, to get on the red on the cushion. <laughs> How'd you hit that gap? I'm not sure if he needed to play the cannon into the eight ball, but he has uh, completely missed it, meaning he's snookered. So three minutes left here. Keep the cue chalked, Gary. I know Chris is a magician, but there will be some shot here to continue this visit. Oh, what an effort. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness me. The magician pulls one of his biggest rabbits out of his hat that he's ever pulled. That was something a little bit special from Chris Melling. 4-1 win. I, you, just, you just run out of words to say. Magic. I, I want to talk to you about the six-row shootout, but I don't because I want to talk about that that third match. I mean, that was incredible. <laughs> wasn't it? I mean, <laughs> you just you kept putting yourself in trouble. Because, yeah, you're losing the cue ball, but some of those shots you were pulling out, and especially that last one, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, this, take a yeah, watch of this. It was just mad. But it, before we actually started playing tonight on the on on the TV, I was practicing that shot for about ten minutes, the exact same <laughs> shot, and I made it quite a few times. And I just thought to myself, just do what you've just done in practice, because when I do practice, I do practice a lot of these kind of shots because. I'm not going to miss many balls, but certain times in matches you get in situations where you have to play that kind of shot. And obviously, if you're, if you're used to doing it, then it's a big advantage. Well, me and you have done a, a, an entire session on that, haven't we? On that line that you like to play to get your knowledge of the table. And, well, that I mean, it proved dividends for you there, didn't it? Yeah, and it was so tight because if you watch the shot back, I mean, I miss the yellow by millimetres and I miss the eight ball by millimetres. Any softer, any harder, I probably hit the yellow or the eight ball. So uh, I was delighted when I saw it go down. I landed dead straight on the eight ball as well.